Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see the problem uh, to design a browser history. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty easy question. It should not marked as medium. It's an easy question. Uh, firstly, what's a browser and what's a history? A browser is just we surf on web and history is that if you move from one page to another page and then after that to another page after that to another page we should have the ability to come back to the previous page or to move back to the forward page let's see what the problem says is that you are have you like you have a browser where one tab where you start it's a home page okay so you will start from the home page where one tab initial tab is a home page okay cool then you can visit another url which is another tab and you can head back to the history of by number of steps. Let's say if I start from the home page, then I move to another tab, another tab, another tab. And then I want to move back to number of steps. Let's say home page, one tab, two, two, three. I want to move back, let's say to one. I want to move back two steps. Then I should have that operation. If I want to move forward from one tab to again, let's say two or three, then I should have that ability. Let's see by this example, what this example, the power example says, it says that, okay, firstly, browser history, I have initial link URL open. Okay. Browser history, initial URL is open, lead code. It's the first tab, which we have opened in our browser. Cool. Now again, it says visit google.com. So now lead code was open. I need to visit now a google.com. Another, I opened another tab called as google.com. Cool. Now it says visit Facebook, facebook.com lead code was open after that I opened Google. Now I need to open again Facebook. I opened Facebook. Cool. Then it says visit youtube.com lead Facebook was open. Now I need to open youtube.com. Now it is open. Now it says, okay, YouTube is open, but move back one steps, which means that now YouTube is open. Move back. If we click back, then we will move to what? Facebook because earlier than YouTube, Facebook was opened. So I opened Facebook. Now it says, okay, again, move back one steps. Then Facebook was opened. Again, I need to move back. So I just moved back to Google. So it just written that, okay, the now open thing is Google. Now it says move forward one step. Google was opened. I need to move forward, which means that I need to move forward. Now I will just land on Facebook and now Facebook will be open. Cool. No worries. Then it says, okay, Facebook is open. Now visit LinkedIn. So what will happen is Facebook was opened. Now it will visit LinkedIn. But you remember one thing, what, what will happen after Facebook, we had YouTube, which we can't access now because after Facebook, now LinkedIn has been opened. And as LinkedIn has been opened, if we will move back, it we, like if LinkedIn has been opened and if we supposed to move back, then we will move back to Facebook. Let after Facebook, if we move forward, then we will move forward back to LinkedIn. So this YouTube picture has gone because we were standing at Facebook and after Facebook, we wanted to open LinkedIn. So after whatsoever this was like here in our case was YouTube, it is gone. Cool. No worries. So the new will one look something like this. And now I am standing at LinkedIn. Cool. Now it says move forward two steps. I'm standing at LinkedIn. There is nothing forward, right? How can I move forward two steps? So I'll just click forward, forward, but still it will just land at the same page itself because it was the last page. I can't move forward two steps after LinkedIn. So it will still land at LinkedIn and my output will still be LinkedIn because ultimately I'm landing at LinkedIn. No. Now it says move back two steps. I was at LinkedIn. I moved back to Facebook. Then I moved back to Google because before Facebook was Google, then I just had this Google as an output, I output Google. Cool. Then it says move back seven steps. I am at Google. I move back one steps. I got LinkedIn. Then I need to move back six steps more. But LinkedIn, sorry, lead code was the home page, right? I cannot move back beyond lead code. So it will try to move back six steps, but still it will just land, keep on landing at lead code. And that's the reason I will just output lead code. So as you saw, it was just a simple array in which we are just as soon as we visit a new web page, we just add in that array. And if we want to move back, we just move back our pointer to land at that particular index. If we want to move forward, we just move forward that pointer to land at that particular index. If we want to add, then we are just adding. So it's just a simple array in which we just choose one index. We just add a new upcoming URL 
in that particular vector or array whatsoever you want and it's as simple as that if you want to move back we just move back the index to that particular number of steps and if you want to move forward we just move forward that index to number of steps so if we want to visit we can add the string to the next index if you're standing at here in the array let's say we have an array we are standing here then we want to add a url we just add after it if we want to move back x steps so i can just move my index x steps back i'll just move x steps back if we want to move forward x steps so i'll just move forward this x steps and we can just simply use an array so let's see the code pretty quickly in this we will easily see both the approaches array as well as stack so yeah wait here firstly we have a simple array or a vector whatsoever you want the codes are available see if you understand java or python then you can just see the comments below in which i have pasted every code of every language c++ java and python and you can just relate it's exactly the same uh, firstly we have a vector or array has history and it's the current index which will actually help me find out okay where I need to push my next element, how much I can, I need to move back and lend to, back, uh, like lend to X number of steps, how much I need to forward. So this index will help me. The index which I was talking about. Cool. Then now what will happen is that initially, see, whenever a home page comes or whenever a visit comes, which means I need to add a particular URL or a string. So at the home page, I just, I had this vector which was initially empty. So I added that URL and the index is now zero because it is now pointing to zero index. As now visit comes so i'll just keep on adding see let's see this line first i'll just keep on adding that url and also updating that index because index will also see this pushback will just add that particular element in that vector and your uh, index will just keep on increasing because now the element is added now it, this line indicates that it's just optimization that we can just resize it back to the original that okay if we are landing at if we have this particular the example which we showed right let's say if i had this one and if i landed here so if i am at facebook now for next i just can update it if it it had like youtube had something as oh something as let's say after youtube we had um x website then after that y then after that z so all this will go away and now the new one will be just one linkedin so the new updated size will be nothing but a four earlier it was four plus three seven right so it is just that i just reduced my size from seven to four cool um it is just that okay cool after that it is that we need to move if we are standing at this current index which we are see this index now we we need to move back x steps which means int is number of steps so previous index how much at max it can go is current index minus number of steps but we also knew that we can't go beyond home page which is the index zero thus i is marked that okay i can just go at max up till zero beyond that i can't go cool um then i just update my current index as what previous index because previous index i have found here because now the actual index would be where i'm landing at the extreme left whatsoever is possible and then i just return okay what's the url at that particular history uh, vector now if you want to move forward just the same thing we just try to move forward as much as possible current index plus number of steps which is required but it also can't go beyond the last page because ultimately it's the last page so i'll just say the same thing again i'll just mark my update my current index as the next index and then i'll just return the value and we can implement the same thing using a W link list because it's just that okay we have our pointer we are moving it backwards and forwards let's see the stack approach it's also pretty same see what we just need to know is that if we are landing if we are standing at this let's say if i have the lead code google facebook linkedin and youtube and if we are standing at facebook let's say if i want to move back so firstly what we can do is just we can just imagine see if see it's a vector right i can just break into into two stacks always it is that if you want to convert a array concept to a stack concept then it is very 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 ideal to just break that into two vectors now it just is okay raise my hand yeah this one so now it is this stack these two stack can help us to move one element from here to here or to here to here so as you can see that i just broke this particular array into two stacks which will one stack will help me to move back another stack will help me to move forward 
as you can see it's a forward stack it's a history stack which is the normal stack so if we want to move like from let's say if we if we want to if we have this and if we want to move back which means that if we, if i want to move back to google so i just need to remove this but i also need it for later because i might even want to go forward so i just push in this facebook to my forward stack which will help me okay forward stack will just help me if i want to iterate on it later and backward stack is actually like history stack is actually at my actual history right now before it so i want to go back so i just need to remove the facebook now removing it means i can't throw it so i have to keep it somewhere i just put it in my forward stack if i want to go forward which means that i just need to let's say access linkedin so i'm standing at facebook i need to access linkedin so i just need to bring that in my history stack because now i need to access it so it should be in my particular stack which i need to query and that's my history stack and with this i can just easily see okay how i can do it now if i want to visit it which means that if i'm standing here and if i let's say want to visit rmmethyl.com website uh, so what we have to do is that firstly as you saw that the whole right part needs to be discarded as we saw earlier because we can't access it right now and that thing will come in actual our whole stack so the new stack will become something like this and the right stack will just be discarded the same thing the rmethyl.com it will just come in the history stack and the right this stack will just be discarded because it's the right part so it's exactly the same as what we saw in the array part let's see how the code looks like just simple a two stacks history and future uh, firstly we initialized what what is that new element comes it will come in the history because history is our main stack and future stack will for sure be empty right now cool no worries uh, now as soon as the new elements is coming in coming in coming in we are just putting that new urls in our history stack and also making sure that okay at the same moment i just empty out my particular future stack as you can easily see as the new element came which means rmethyl.com came my future stack needs to become empty because i can't access it right now this whole right part needs to become empty right as soon as the new elements come so it is that okay i just need to re new reset it as soon as the new elements come now back is just nothing but if i want to move back which means i need to move the element from see i need to move the element from my history stack to what to my forward stack so i'm just pushing while like as soon as my history stack is not empty or my steps is more than zero and so you can easily see that okay history stack should have one element because at max i can just land at my home page so i need to have at least one thing so it's the reason i just marked it as one now i just try to bring in that element from history and push it in my future stack and also popping out from history because it's just bringing from history to future stack and then steps minus minus because each time a element comes we are just going back and at last i can just return okay what's the top of history because number of steps had been done same goes for future thing that okay i'll just bring the element from future like same goes for forward thing i'll bring the element from the future stack to my actual history stack and i'll just bring it which means future dot top bring it to history remove from future which means future dot pop step minus minus and as you can easily see that okay at last whatsoever is at the at my history stop is actually the element i'm standing right now so i hope that you guys understood it i i i i'll, I'll just say that okay the approach one was more intuitive than the approach number three approach two was the uh, linked list approach but approach one is the most intuitive and it just actually makes sense that as soon as we are moving in the array okay how it is happening how it is done so the approach one was array the approach two was linked list which it's very complex to implement in a particular interview so i will not recommend that and approach three was stack and it's a pretty interesting thing that okay how you convert the array concept to a stack concept i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do hit the like button it helps me do it a lot seriously or not so yeah see you in the next video and then goodbye take care